at the end of this video, I will be on my board thing that you can slightly see that will be at the This video is kind of different, kind of not, I don't know. Right now, today, I'm planning a vanity tour. I'm going to film that later today because that seems kind of fun. But this video is mainly, this video is going to be, go, I make a lot of videos, like sit down videos, you know, because I personally don't get lucky and, no, by that I mean I don't get lucky with YouTube video I do, that I can do because we're all we at the house and stuff, or I make an allowance and then it goes on like something like, oh, in my room makeover or something. <laughs> but, or like slime or something. And I don't really, I'm going to start filming slime video when I get more slime supplies. The thing is that they're kind of longer of a video. So for me, I step by step. It takes me literally one time. Um, I plan to make more. Um, and I'm like, I'll make like five or ten minutes. Mm. Ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, and that is kind of the thing. And, and then it took me 40 minutes that day. So, yeah, it took me a long, long, long. Well, it took me a lot longer than I thought it was. And then, and it wasn't even slime. No, what happened with that, it was, I used activator and it was the fact that it wasn't slime because I don't know what happened to it. Partly because there wasn't a lot of glue in it because my niece had bought like a bunch of art supplies to do like these fun crafts and she was going to give them as like gifts with mason jars and stuff like and, and she did that and had a little bit of stuff left afterward and so there was enough glue to get a little bit of slime or something so she gave it to me so I could make slime. Um, and it didn't even, it was, had pom-poms in it, and it wasn't that great. But I wanted to talk really in detail. Right now, I am currently starting the works of getting ready because July 28th, July 28th is my one-year YouTube anniversary. Can I know what happened? So I remember that because I'm literally my niece Bella. She literally left and she moved. Well, no, she didn't move. She left our house to go back home, obviously, because for school and stuff. Um, like right after Fourth of July. Like, not too long after, and then the first week, and, and then literally we went and spent the night at a hotel, and I don't know what happened that night. Something happened, because literally we came home, and I'm so excited to see my dog, Sam, and see my mom and dad, because I, we spent the night at a hotel, because we were also going to, like, a fun place. For like the day, my hair being really creepy and really annoying. I'm just gonna have to go with those. It's being annoying and it's getting on my nerve. Um, but yeah, and so then and a situation came up and I'm not talking about, I'm not allowed to, but pretty much we moved and it was. Like, no, we started planning the move that day. So later, she wasn't even gone for two days, and we started planning a move. So then we, we went back and forth for, 
And like up until for almost I want to say two weeks. Yeah, a good two weeks back and forth. Um, like bringing things down here, here and going back, getting more things. And when we actually officially moved in, not everything was here. Like a few, most of it was. There was a few things that weren't here. So then we went and back. Like my dad went back. Like oh. Less than a week later, but one of the down was that the main thing that was left that we actually needed was my dog's water and food bowl. So, what we did was, and so what we did was off and on, I would get like a cup and put water in it for him so he could drink water. Or, and he just kind of had to live off of like human food because, like, no, he had to for like. Or, um, for like a day or two. It wasn't too, too long. Only, well, yeah, it was like, because his actual, like, dog food was left there. So, he had to live off of human food for like a week. But it was fine. And he lived off of, like, a variety of Cheerios and ham. And, like, things that are really safe for dogs to eat. And things that he kind of likes. I'm currently taking a nap under my bed. See ya! You just a cute little baby. Ah, oh, he does not want to be woken up right now. But yeah, so that kind of all happened, but then we were literally here for only, it was the third day third day of actually living down here, and that's when my channel started, which was July 28th, 28th, I believe, yeah, it was on a Wednesday, I know that, I remember it being like, okay, and I'm gonna check the calendar again, but yeah, it was, I think it was July 28th, because it was on Wednesday, and it was the 28th, so either that month, or I know the next month is a Wednesday that had 20. But yeah, I'm super excited, got some fun video planned for that, but right now, I want to get in detail what my channel means to me, my social media life, you know, life, so... I'm, okay, I do have a TikTok account. It is almost set up. I'm going to wait to tell it to you guys. And I'll do it later because I'm changing the profile picture because it's a bunny and I don't really like, like, I'm not a big fan of bunnies. I'm not an animal person. I love my dog, Sam, and that's about it. That's about all the animals that I really like. I am still... Not trying to be rude to people who do love animals, but that's just not my thing. And so, yeah, so pretty much, pretty much I wanted that and I want to post a TikTok. Um, And so, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> and then I want to post like a TikTok first. first. And then I need to set up Pop Jam again. Now, what happened is that three of my accounts were on my iPad, which is not, I honestly don't know what the thing that's happening because. Okay, let's be real. I saw my dad looking at iPads on Amazon today. And then he was looking at them. I don't know if he purchased one or not. I don't think. He was looking at, like, cheaper ones. But he been. I honestly think one day I might get a new iPad. Um, I'm saying that or some Apple thing that has FaceTime. Because my dad has been at Sesame and for some reason, and like, non-stop accessing over how now 
our plans are screwed up because we can't, and because we don't have FaceTime anymore. And I'm like, like, we can still call, no, he got sassy because he, his idea is different than my idea. By that, I mean, no, he's like, I, oh, I went in your mom to see you, like, in the hospital, and I'm like, that doesn't need to happen, okay? Because when you're at this point, you know that my hospital time, it can be, like, either doing fun, doing things, obviously, but it can be there, and we don't really know, but it kind of consists of watching YouTube. Um, I'm filming for YouTube and posting on Instagram. At this point, that's what it can consist of. Um, yeah, so it consists of watching YouTube and watching YouTube and then filming for YouTube and Yeah. So it, yeah, once we get that figure, yeah, for that, I don't know at this point. But this video, I want to say my social media life means so much to me. I'm not stopping. Literally, out of my entire, like, almost soon to be a year, eventually. Only, I got about four or five months still and then it will be like a year er, I have wondering how many days have I missed filming I'm gonna answer that question right now wondering out of almost a year I missed about I want to say two or three oh I know I I know it's at least two but I think it's like three or or I haven't missed that many days of filming. And I'm, even when I was sick at one point before I got sick, I got, like, really sick for, like, a, like, bit, a day and a half. Like, I was sick for, like, a day and a half, pretty much. Like, I would say almost the second full Day. I was sick all day one day, and then I was pretty much like starting off as sick day number two, and then we kind of just um went out and got pizza, uh, and my energy, so I was literally just back to normal, like pizza, song, most all of it, and then, and so I was well going. Right now, I got a lot of stuff drawn on me. I can't really show you this, but there is something. I'm going to give you that much. So, so, I also got a little heart there. And then on this leg, I got a W plus, the first letter of my nickname. Um, and that's really awesome. This arm does not have anything. I'm actually probably, I want to draw something on it. Let me get my marker. <laughs> Got it. I know this is permanent, but I also know that it washes off. Or it's always washed off, so I've been using it for a while. Oh no, this is why I never drawn on this one. <laughs> what should I draw?
Mm. Mm, looks good. And now I'm gonna kind of show it to you once I put this cap on. It's a heart, and now I'm so okay. I need to add something to it. Okay, so I put it an M and then a C. So the C is on one side, and it's like my crushing part of it. Like my crushing part, and the M is on the other side, and my part. Uh, and for me, doing social media has been a dream come true. I couldn't ask for something better at this point, and, or better at spirit. <laughs> It's all been so nice, like, I never, uh, had, I never had any, like, experience, or, ne like, I never really had a bad experience, and with the, but I feel like if I ever did, I want to not admit to it. I'm the type that I live life high and that no one brings me down. I'm way up here. Well, here's what I put it at. I put people, average people, people who don't really know their opinions. They don't really know any. I'm talking about like people who aren't, people who walk into life. And they live life kind of just average and kind of boring. Like, they don't make their bar high. They don't think about, oh, I should make my bar high and make life fun and stuff. I put them, like, right here. The average level. People who are rude and hateful, you get right down at the floor. <laughs> That's where I put them. And people who actually live life. They actually know who they want to be. They know their style. They, and that they like what they like and that they're not going to let people bring them down. They get way up here at, in the sky. And I'm one of those people. Well, if you make life fun and you live life, you don't let people bring you down. Then you get way up at the top. And that's where I am. I'm that type of person. And I'm not bring, trying to bring anyone down. I'm just saying don't be hateful and you'll actually get some. Don't be hateful and rude. And you'll get somewhere. And and try to make life fun. Have Just be you. Like people who be you can also make it up there. People who are trying to fake and be someone else. Mm, an average. And, um, wait, I might be sending negativity. I might read everything. But, <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to send negativity. And the video might be delayed by tomorrow at this point. <laughs> or I might just refilm it. So, if you do watch this, then, then you know that I can honest thought. My video, I feel like I'm that type. No one brings me down. No one wondering there have been okay. I want to talk my mom's situation right now. So I personally have always gotten along in a pretty good way with my mom. Um, I know my mom is a little strict and she is a little tight, but I always like other than that, I gotten pretty good with my mom. Like. I, my mom's not my bestie or anything. Like, I see moms that are, like, besties with their kids. I'm not that type. I'm the type I have my friends. I have my family slash sometimes friends and sort of area. And then I have my mom and dad sort of area. Well, and then I have, like, my mom sort of area. She has her own area. Yeah, and...
then I have like my best friend. And for me, my mom gets her own area because personally, she's a mom. I know that. I'm cool with her. I love her. You know, I love my mom just like I I went and I she's my mom and she's awesome. Um but me and my dad I have to say are the ones that are a lot closer. Uh, I admit to this very clearly. No, because I feel like my mom does things sometimes. Things that annoy me so bad. I uh, she has physically made me cry before. No, what happened was I need to I got to the point like where at one point a lot of drama and stuff was in my life. Wait, let me get my on the bed a little better. Uh, and I'm not talking about that. And like my mom, I will talk to her. She get like fed up. I will get annoyed because like um, in my opinion, this is this is kind of like something unique. Like no, for me it would be the. I would mean, get to the point where I would start missing my crush. He would start being in my head some days, and by that I mean every day. But there would be times when I just, I will wake up and I will have a bad day. And it's like every single time I got the feeling. Like, here's the thing. You're not going to believe me about this, but you're going to hear it anyways. <laughs> anyways, well, you might believe me, actually. Only... I am the type, I am that sort of, like, girl, I'm that person that my crush means the world to me, and I'll straight up um, look at anyone right in the face and say, my crush is my, probably my favorite person. Sorry to family who is watching this and friends who are watching, because I know three people, I know at least three people who are watching this, that I actually no, because I'm related to them. But to me, and personally, to me, it's like this huge thing. It's like, to me, I wake up and I know that there's days when I wake up and I know something's gone wrong. Something's gone wrong might crush something not good and that freaks me out and then worries me and I personally and when those days come which on other news I've been lucky I haven't had one of those days in I think at least a month and their time when they are just kind of like, I slightly know, like, oh, maybe he just got, like, a cold or something back at it, like, a few days later, you know. No big deal, sort of thing. And then there's days when I'm like, it's bad. And for me, I'm that type that every time, so every time that one of those days would come up, I would be in a kind of hard, difficult mood, is what I would say, and not really 100% realize that. <clears throat> and so, when people say, oh, that sort of stuff doesn't, like for me, what happened with that? those things, and actually twice it happened, I was having a really hard thing that and then my mom would be pushing it and I started crying both of those days. You know what happened? Was that the one my dad understands the situation. Let's just say that. My dad understands the situation. I'm not putting my mom and dad down in any cost. I'm just stating things and that's what I feel me to be done. I love my mom, and she's awesome, but there is days when she can be difficult, and we all know that, we all know that, that there's always going to be once or twice in your life, and you're going to be really annoyed and have a difficult mom to deal with that day, and I personally, 
know what it's like. I personally only know what it's like. And so for me, it is the fact um is the fact that uh I was having one of these days one time and and my dad understands because he's known that I had a crush on the person from the year that it started. He was one of the first people to know. In fact, I think he was the first person to know. He would have been second next to my niece if, if she picked up the phone that day. No, I'm saying that being honest. And no, what happened that he only found out um, a few minutes first. Or I had a niece that I would always talk to and stuff and tell things like that. And she would have been first to know, except for her. I tried calling her to tell her, and she didn't pick up that day. But life happened, you know, it's fine. Nothing, like, I don't blame her for, for that. I just mean, and you all, you got your chance that you didn't quite get to find out first, but that's no deal. But yeah, pretty much so what happened was that my dad known from the beginning, and, and he knows how important this is to me, and he can tell sometimes when I'm having one of those things. Sometimes he will know, um, and somehow you're probably like, oh, you're making this big deal about nothing. Every single time that failure came, I'm 100% right. The, I want to say the time that I had it the biggest, he literally, so it was the biggest. And what happened was, it was 100% on the spot. Uh, he, so, pretty much, and much I got to kind of see him, so it was awesome. So what happened was that um, he showed up to music class. This guy was doing it. That's in a video that I already filmed, like, like yesterday, I believe, or the day before. Or you should go check it out if you can find it. If not, it's cool. Uh, I am going to make a, like, video really get in detail about that. Uh, and... And so, for me, what it was, um, and so the day, I'm like, he, my dad gets in the car, and I'm like, why is, I saw my crack leaving, and leaving, and, and he did not look very good. He looked like he was out of it, and that he was, like, sick or something. And then my dad went like, I'm like, oh, he's leaving because he's sick, you know. Oh, and I, and later, he was out for not one week, not two weeks, not three. He was out for a month and two weeks. Yeah, he was out for five weeks. No, he wasn't showing up for five weeks. Well, technically he was sick for only four weeks. For like, well no, not a month and two weeks, a month and one week. He was only sick for four weeks. Things I know of anyway. I the fifth week he I know that a new place opened up, a new like autism society thing opened up and he was down there and because he had to do a bunch of stuff. Um, and he was actually in the newspaper uh, in our area because he had to do stuff for that. Because uh, they were, like, just now opening up, and they were, like, going in the newspaper and stuff to let people know. Because they are in kind of a hidden place. Wait. And so, guess yeah, what my mom did that day. And no, so I go upstairs, she's pushing it, she's like, so take, she, she's like, take your laundry upstairs, and, cause, um, my dad finished folding clothes, and I need to take it 
I'm feeling I'm kind of lazy you now. I'm general, I think, and next thing you know, I'm getting up here and I just break. I literally started crying. I was breaking because it was a bad feeling that day, you know. Life happened and I started crying. And, and then my mom decided to be really hard and then and start seeing me cry and stuff. And sent my dad up to like come make sure I'm okay. So, um, because I'm, you know, making sure I was okay. And at the time I had over there, there's like a white thing and, and a lot of boxes and things were in it. So she thought, oh, maybe, maybe something fell on me or something. You know, like, making sure I can come up and I kind of like playing it too. But yeah, I know she's being tough on you and after all of this. And then he, I'm like, I'll be down in a little bit. So he goes down. And I'm still like kind of crying, you know. Oh, at this point I just missed my crush. And this was actually a few days before the day before Valentine's Day. And then my mom decided to scream at me. No, she wouldn't scream because she don't do it. I'm up here. I'm on the other end of the house almost. Almost. And she just kind of like, in my name. I, I quit crying and come down and vacuum. And I'm like, I, and I was finally starting to calm down at that point. And it got me started up again. You don't tell your kid to t stop crying when they're having a hard time. Life is getting them down. They miss someone so bad and might take my crush. And then you tell them to stop crying and come back to me. But yeah, so life is hard and that's the message of the video is that I personally have had a hard life and that I want you guys to know that it life when it is hard, it does eventually get better. I learned that, and a few days later, I was crying so bad at that, not seeing my crush back. Literally, a few days later, my dad said that we could go see him. That, like, my mom was kind of off edge about it. Like, no, what happened? Literally, my mom was off edge. But she didn't know that was the main reason that I was crying until, like, my dad kind of told me. No, what happened was she was off edge because um um she went like I maybe you shouldn't go maybe you shouldn't and my dad looked at her and went like we're going in that area anyway want her to stay a few extra hours you know um and then she went like why are you fighting so hard hard for her to get to go do this and he went I'm. Because she's been crying for the past a uh, few days, and because she needs to go see him, not just finish the thing. Like he went and cleaned up, tells her she's been crying for the past few days. She needs to go see him. At this point, this is why, and at that point, I was crying because of it. And she kind of went like, "Okay, go."